For months, the night skies have whispered a silent warning. At first, it looked like nothing more than a celestial guest, another comet streaking across the darkness. But scientists at NASA and Harvard aren't calling it just a comet anymore. They're calling it a phenomenon. Its name is 3I Atlas, the third known interstellar object to ever cross our solar system. But this time, something is very, very different, because 3I Atlas isn't traveling alone. Telescopes across the globe have started picking up thousands of faint signatures surrounding the object, signatures that simply shouldn't exist. According to NASA's latest trajectory models, there appear to be over 4,000 smaller bodies following it, moving in near-perfect synchronization, and no one can explain how or why. When Harvard's Astrophysics Division first analyzed the data, they thought it had to be a calibration glitch, maybe a reflection error from the deep space imaging. But the readings kept repeating, and soon, every major observatory confirmed the same chilling pattern. A dense swarm of meteor-sized fragments escorting 3I Atlas like some kind of cosmic convoy. One senior researcher described it as a gravitational school of fish, thousands of icy metallic shards dancing behind a single leader through the vast emptiness of space. The collective motion is unnatural, almost deliberate, as if it's responding to something more than just gravity. At first, NASA believed these fragments were simply the remains of a broken comet nucleus, debris torn apart by tidal forces as 3I Atlas passed near Jupiter's massive gravitational field. But the numbers just didn't add up. The fragments weren't scattering away. They were holding their formation. Even more disturbing were the velocity readings. Normally, loose debris disperses, spreading thin as it drifts through the void. But this swarm seemed coordinated maintaining its distance and speed with a strange precision, like a fleet on a mission. And then came the infrared data. When the James Webb Space Telescope locked onto 3I Atlas, it detected something no one had anticipated, microthermal anomalies across the leading body. Small but consistent energy pulses. The signal repeated every 11 minutes. It wasn't strong enough to be mechanical, but it was far too patterned to be random. That's when Harvard's Dr. Liam Archer raised a terrifying possibility. He asked, what if we're not seeing a natural fragmentation? What if this is structured movement? For decades, astronomers have speculated about self-organizing matter, dust or ice reacting to electromagnetic fields creating synchronized orbits. But nothing on this scale has ever been recorded. Nothing even close. So, NASA's Deep Space Network began triangulating potential impact trajectories. The early projections were sobering. If even a fraction of those 4,000 fragments veered off course, several could intercept Earth's orbit by late next year. Publicly, officials are staying calm. But internally, leaked memos reveal a growing sense of unease. The documents describe anomalous propulsion behaviors, and sustained velocity retention inconsistent with known cometary dynamics. In simpler terms, these fragments are moving as if they're being guided. As the data poured in, one thing became painfully clear. 3I Atlas isn't just another interstellar wanderer. It's behaving more like a carrier, dragging an entire field of potential impactors behind it. And yet, no one knows what's driving it or how it managed to collect such a massive entourage of celestial debris. When asked if this could pose a genuine threat to Earth, Dr. Archer's response was chillingly simple. Not yet, but it's getting closer every day. What's even more unsettling is the direction it's heading. 3I Atlas. S current trajectory isn't T just skimming the solar system. It S aligning with the inner planetary corridor. That's the orbital path that cuts directly between Mars and Earth. Every simulation ends with the same haunting image. Thousands of small meteorites tracing a single luminous line across the sky, descending like a cosmic rain of glass and fire. But there's something else. Something the public hasn't been told yet. Because as NASA analysts were studying the fragment's spectral data, they noticed something embedded within their signatures. Something that shouldn't exist in a field of rock and ice. A faint, metallic resonance. Almost as if the fragments weren't just... fragments. This metallic resonance wasn't supposed to be there. 
When NASA's spectral analysis team cross-checked the readings from the Webb telescope with the Hubble archive, the signal persisted. It echoed faintly, buried deep inside the dust signature of each and every fragment. A rhythmic hum, identical across thousands of objects. Dr. Elena Crawford of the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics described it as a repeating harmonic pattern, the kind you'd expect from manufactured alloys, not cosmic ice. At first she thought it was just interference from solar radiation. But when the signal remained stable through multiple rotations, her disbelief turned into quiet alarm. By the end of the week a classified briefing was held at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. The discussion revolved around a single question that no one wanted to ask out loud. Who, or what, made it? To the public, NASA issued a measured statement about newly detected meteor clusters. But behind closed doors a very different narrative was forming. Was The swarm of 4,000 wasn't drifting chaotically. It was maintaining its formation even as it passed through high-velocity solar winds. That kind of behavior defies every known principle of orbital mechanics. Some researchers propose that the metallic readings were remnants of an ancient collision, perhaps debris from a destroyed planet or a long-forgotten asteroid. But the harmonic frequencies were too uniform. Natural bodies never sing in perfect tune. As the data continued to stream in, the formation began to compress. The outer meteors appeared to be shifting inward, tightening around 3i Atlas like a defensive shield. The behavior looked like gravitational shepherding, but again it was too precise, too synchronized to be natural. Then, at Harvard's astrophysics lab, a pattern began to emerge. Every 11 minutes, matching the energy pulses from 3i Atlas itself, the surrounding meteors responded with micro-adjustments in their position. It was as if the lead object were issuing commands, and the thousands of fragments were obeying. The team tried to dismiss it as a coincidence. But deep down, even the biggest skeptics knew that coincidence doesn't repeat in perfect intervals for weeks on end. Then came the radio anomaly. The deep space network picked up a burst of low-frequency noise trailing the swarm. It wasn't random static. It was structured, coded, and repeating. Engineers filtered out all the background radiation, and what remained looked like a pattern of binary echoes, ones and zeros, pulsing in a deliberate rhythm. Was it a natural emission or something more? Dr. Crawford later admitted in a private note, For the first time I felt we were listening to something alive, not biological but aware. This discovery was quickly classified. Only fragments of the report ever leaked out with references to intelligent synchronization and possible non-terrestrial material composition. Publicly, the agencies denied everything. Privately, NASA initiated Project Orion Veil, vale, a top-secret monitoring system aimed at decoding the binary emissions and tracking every single fragment in real time. By late autumn, the swarm had entered the outer asteroid belt. Its velocity was increasing, not slowing down, an impossible outcome given the gravitational drag it should have been experiencing. Analysts calculated that if this acceleration continued, the convoy would intersect Mars's orbital path within months. From there, only one planet lay ahead. Earth. Harvard ES orbital simulations painted a terrifying picture. If even 2% of those meteors survived atmospheric entry, the result would be catastrophic, a chain of impacts capable of reshaping entire continents. But perhaps the greater fear wasn't about destruction. It was about intent, because one more detail surfaced in the data, one that no algorithm could explain. Each fragment, though tumbling independently, was reflecting light at a consistent phase angle, as if they were all mirroring a single unseen source. When researchers plotted these reflections over time, they formed a pattern, a geometric alignment pointing straight toward Earth's northern hemisphere. Coincidence or communication? The answer remains buried inside encrypted files shared between NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Harvard Astrophysical Observatory. But one sentence from the final report escaped redaction. If these objects are responding to a directive, that directive originates within the inner solar system. For now, the world sleeps on, beneath the illusion of safety. The skies remain clear, the stars unchanged.
Yet somewhere out there beyond Jupiter, a silent armada continues its slow, relentless march toward our blue planet. A procession of 4,000 glittering shadows, led by a single enigmatic traveler. And as Three Eye Atlas drifts ever closer, scientists are left with one haunting thought. What if this isn't the first time it's been here? What do you think is happening? Is this an unbelievable natural event, or something more? Let me know your theories down in the comments. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this journey into the unknown, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into the mysteries of our universe. Stay curious.